Hey everybody, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Today we are in Malachi chapter 4 verse 2. Here's how the text reads. It states, but for you who fear my name, the son of righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. You shall go out leaping like calves from the stall. Now, the whole point of this book is to drive God's people back to one thing, that is fearing God. This is because Israel and all their spiritual leaders have gotten a little lost since their release from captivity. They've begun to fear the things of this world, naturally. Therefore, they've gotten a little irritated with God to the point that they've become indignant and proceeded to engage in this, uh, well, self-righteous interrogation of things like his might and his power and his judgment and his provision. Yet God knows that from among his people, there are some who will remain faithful. They just do one thing. They fear him. And that's the issue with self-righteous people. They don't fear God. Instead, they question and interrogate and dismiss him because, well, they fear all these other things, the things of this world. But right here, God gives his people a little incentive. So he promises healing and new life to those who fear him. And these are two things dying people want, right? Dying people want these things. As we age, we realize that these mortal bodies are always reminding us that one day we will die. We're reminded by the aches and pains in our joints, by our deteriorating senses, and even by the diseases that infect our failing bodies. But God promises to those who fear him healing and new life at the dawn of this one event, this one person the son of righteousness. So choose today to stop fearing the things of this life. Just fear God in light of all these other temporal fears. And remember, you're just moving one day at a time from the land of the dying into the land of the living. I love you guys. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed it, share it with someone else and I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.